Hi friends. Well, I was gonna come out here and sit over here and have a little chat with you, but uh, I didn't realize how loud the music was gonna be out here. Uh, a couple of properties away is a uh, place that they, I think they rented out. Anyway, it's Saturday night. Are you enjoying the music? Huh? Well, let's go back in the house and see if we can shut the doors and quiet it down a little bit. I, uh, no, I don't mind the music for a while. Two Saturday nights ago, it went on till six minutes after two in the morning. That's a little better. I can't sit there because the light comes in the back and um, shadows my face. It looks like I'm sitting in the dark. And if you've watched my videos for a while, you know that this is one of my favorite places to sit and talk to you. Don't have a lot to say. Just um, wanted to give you a heads up on one of the things that's going on with me in the last uh, couple of weeks. Haven't been out and about much for a couple of reasons. Uh, the COVID seems to be going here again. Um, one of the uh, families in the neighborhood seems to have it. No terrible symptoms and the vaccinated, but uh, testing positive. So we're kind of laying low again. We did go out to dinner with some friends uh, once, and that was very enjoyable. Had one of the best steaks I've ever had in my life. It was at a restaurant called Goshen's. Goshen. Goshen's. Anyway, um, what's been going on with me the last couple of weeks is I've been spending a considerable amount of time daily doing research on a project we uh, may or may not uh, develop a property back up there in Arizona. And I've been studying a lot about building codes and uh, riparian areas, which are waterways, and um, it's sometimes a complicated subject, but I'm trying to master it in order that I don't waste my time dreaming about something that can't happen. Uh, building this house was a dream and a passion for many years. Uh, if you watched my video about how this living room was built, you know some of this. That was one house over there, and uh, the big arch and the smaller arch were the outside wall. Um, none of this existed, it was a patio. And this over here, the fireplace didn't exist, was another house. And we built all of this living room in order to join the two properties into one house. So, I'm standing, I never did divide it into uh, so, uh, one property. It's still uh, two deeds. So I'm standing about right there to my right then is one property and to my left is another property. And building all of this was a dream and a passion and I enjoyed it immensely. And when that got to be fairly finished, I used to say, when people ask me, well, when are you gonna be finished? I used to say, well, you don't understand the plan. I'm gonna keep building here until I die. But then we got reinterested in motorhoming and RVing and spending time up in the Arizona desert. And we got that other uh, bigger 
nicer motor home and we've enjoyed that too. It became my passion to learn how to do that lifestyle and boondock and put solar power on it and a little project here and a little project there keep me busy and entertained while we enjoyed that lifestyle up in the deserts of Arizona in the wintertime. But uh, this house in Mexico will always remain the place where we come back and relax and slow down and really enjoy the the culture of manana, it's sometimes called. As you get into your mid to late 70s, <laughs> uh, it starts to prey upon your mind about how many mananas may be left. I think I got a few, so I'm looking for a new project. <laughs> uh, the rest of this video is going to be um, uh, a clip here and there of my life retired in Mexico, Ajijic, Mexico, on the north shore of Lake Chapala. Uh, just a clip here and there of la during the last 10 days. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. I got this giant orange carrot out of our garden and that other one is a carrot also, even though it's white. We had a package of different colored carrots, had purple ones too. Anyway, it motivated me to make a chicken pot pie, and I never did that before. I made the crust from scratch, and you can probably see the top there. It's all kind of pieced together, but it'll bake just fine. And the other half that you don't see in the pie pan there, it ate just fine. It was a little dry. I would have uh, liked it to be a little soupier, but the flavor was perfect. Hi there. Just came home from Walmart and thought you might like to know the prices of some of the things that we buy and eat here. Um, of course, here it's by the kilo and the peso, so I've calculated uh, prices of the meat I bought uh, by pounds and U.S. dollars. Thought you might find that interesting. Let's see what we got. Already had the stuff in the freezer, so it's... That's why it looks the way it does, because it's frozen. This is ground sirloin, and um, it's 184 pesos per kilo, which is uh, $4.18 US dollars per pound. This is uh, pork. It's a um, leg of pork. I make uh, green chili salsa out of it. And it is... Uh, 106 pesos a kilo is two dollars and forty cents a pound. This is um, the most expensive meat I bought, and it's a choice Angus. It's 242 pesos per kilo, and that's 550 a pound. These are chicken breasts, and um, they're uh, boneless and skinless. 263 a pound. That was actually on sale. They're usually a little more about uh, a little more. That's 116 pesos per kilo, and it's usually like I don't know 140, 150. Um, chicken legs. Chicken legs are 69 pesos per kilo, which is a dollar 56 a pound. And that's going back in the freezer later to go in my mouth. Today, we're going to the dentist. Uh, Lynn's having a consultation about some work she probably needs to have done. You wanna call him and get an appointment before you come down here? That was the phone number. They speak English. This is what sleeping is like in my bedroom on the north shore of Lake Japala.
hear the crickets and the waves. I don't know what that blue dot is, some kind of a problem in my camera. Do not be distracted by the blue dot. Buenas noches. Now we're going to go out to the vegetable stand if we get there before it closes. I planted some cilantro there. Hasn't come up yet. Maybe I need new seeds. We're going to the vegetable stand to get some stuff, something for dinner. Well, I see you got your mask on. You don't need to put your mask on in a convertible until we get there. Okay. Okay. No wonder that tree looks so dead next to the fire pit. Why is that? Burn in there. Uh, for a long time. A year ago. You still, don't have your you mask. You still think on. getting in and out of that little car is worth it? Yeah. I have my mask in my pocket. Oh. And I need two hands to put it on. Need any ladybugs? Huh? I got thousands. Mm -hmm. This is uh, cilantro that's gone to seed. Okay, this is for my daughter. I know this is the second time in this video that I said cilantro. I know it's cilantro. <laughs> like me give me one of those thumbs up and please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next please share me with your friends on social media thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today